When your PlayStation 5 won't turn on or show anything on screen, it might be bricked. That sucks because your expensive gaming device is, as the term implies, about as useful as a brick. But did you know, there are some things you could do to minimize the chances of bricking your precious PS5 console. Most bricked consoles result from software issues, bugs in the system software that could lead to instances where the PS5 fails to power on. Your best defense is to keep your system software updated through Wi-Fi or Ethernet whenever a new version of the system software becomes available. While updating to the latest version of the PS5 system software is generally a good idea, you don't want to do it the very minute an update becomes available. You should wait a day or two instead to see if the new system software introduces new bugs or triggers a new wave of bricked consoles. Rest mode is a special low power mode found in the PS5 that's useful but often accused of causing exactly these types of issues. In rest mode, the PS5 downloads games and updates, so you can get going immediately instead of waiting for downloads to complete. Unfortunately, it seems that rest mode can corrupt things sometimes, and we're not always sure why. This did however seem to be more widespread during the first few weeks following the launch of the console, and it's been largely patched out. While it's exceedingly rare, a small number of PS5 games have reportedly led to bricked consoles. Gamers usually expose any game that causes serious issues within the first few hours of the launch, so if you can wait a day or two, you're sure to see those reports pop up. On the other hand, if a game's been out for a while, it's probably safe as all the kinks have already been ironed out. A core cause of brick PS5s is power interruptions during rest mode. If you frequently wake your PS5 up to a warning message that the power was turned off incorrectly, you're at a higher risk of data corruption that can brick the console. It's also potentially catastrophic if the power goes out while the system update is in progress. Avoiding rest mode, as mentioned earlier, is an effective way to deal with this, since there's no harm in the power going out if your console is off. But if you don't want to give up the convenience of rest mode, you might want to consider investing in a small UPS, that's an uninterruptible power supply, to use with your PS5 console. If your PS5 is already bricked, check out the article linked below for some extra advice. See you next time.